Computers bring the convenience of technology underwater by constantly monitoring depth, time, and no decompression limits. The best dive computer in the world still won't do you any good if you don't use it, however. The design and engineering stage of a dive computer takes into consideration new decompression algorithms, computer technology, battery technology, materials, and ergonomics. The birth of a dive computer begins with the assembly of the transducer, the component that senses pressure, telling the computer water depth or tank pressure, depending on dive computer type. Workers position the sensor chips from a large silicon wafer on transducer bodies by hand. After placing the sensor chip on the transducer body, technicians carefully position the transducer body on a microcircuit wiring machine. This machine then automatically wires the circuits on the sensor chip to the transducer body. A technician carefully checks the wiring of each transducer. A small housing covers the sensor on the transducer body. The housing is then micro-welded onto the transducer body. A watertight gel fills the housing relaying the surrounding water pressure to the sensor while keeping the sensor dry. The main circuit board of a computer comes from a separate manufacturer already built to specifications. Workers clean and inspect each one before it becomes part of a dive computer. A technician solders a transducer onto the circuit board. Another worker installs the battery contacts on the computer by hand. When the circuit board is complete, workers fit it to the back of the case and then to the liquid crystal display. A decal that shows the displayed functions goes on the front of the screen. A technician powers up each computer as an initial test of the screen and computer functions. Each computer gets a battery and a worker seals the case. The control button on the front housing requires an O-ring, a spring, and a retaining clip. At this point, the dive computer is just an airtight box with circuits. A 
technician downloads the dive and operating programs and history into the dive computer. Here you see a hoseless type computer being tested and program information being loaded. There are two transducers in this computer. One senses pressure from the surrounding water, while the other senses cylinder air pressure. As part of the quality control process, workers pressurize computers to a depth of 91 meters, 300 feet, in a chamber filled with water to check for leaks. A single wrist unit tests the signal from an array of hoseless computer transmitters. The transmitter is the component attached to the regulator first stage. A shield blocks the signal of the transmitters not going through the test. Hoseless computer wrist units also go through a pressure chamber test. At a minimum distance of one and a half meters, four feet, the wrist units of hoseless computers must read the accurate tank pressure readings from a transmitter. Every computer goes through a series of tests to ensure they work properly before a customer depends on it. Finally, a worker prepares the computer for distribution and it leaves the plant.